This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Well, Roxy, uh, Roxy and Terrence J had a lot of beef on 106 and Parker. A lot of people are wondering what happened during that time. Well, here's the deep, dark secret between those two. They were smashing. I mean, it's obvious. They smashed, and uh, basically, she wasn't feeling him no more. And he got in his feelings. I mean, this is why he probably crashed his uh, his car in Hollywood and left it there. He gets in his feelings, and then, you know, some things happen, okay? You know, he, on this particular one, he decided to make Roxy feel awkward. That is what it is. You know, Terrence J uh, did what he had to do to get to the top of the food chain. Okay, that's all I could say. But uh, they were definitely smashing. Pamela Anderson says, hey, I was pretty shy until I did Playboy. Well, <laughs> after you did Playboy, you let everybody see everything. So there's nothing to be shy about anymore. Everybody knows what you look like under them clothes, baby. Um, who cares? <laughs> then we got uh, Freddie... Bankroll Freddy. Okay, so, okay. So Bankroll Freddy's alleged drug operation run by family, charges of gang violence and drug trafficking, and this is the center of an FBI investigation in Arkansas, according to Arkansas Online. The court denied bond uh, to his father, Freddie Glanny, and Tuesday, furthermore, for officials allegedly caught him on wiretaps discussing weapons and drugs with three of his sons. And arranging contraband sales with his daughter. Man, this was a family business. I do believe in presume, uh, presumption of innocence. U.S. Magistrate Judge Joe expressed about the situation. But the wire cases really bring a new f uh, faucet into the an analysis of the strength of the case. And you really get to hear what's going on and understand what's going on in an individual. The rapper faced indictment last November and drug conspiracy char uh, charges. Uh, bankroll Freddie reportedly in family drug operation. That's okay. Return the property. They, okay. However, curiosity bankroll requested the 30s return the property they seized in the arrest. These include various jewels, jewelry. Court denied the request, obviously. It's bad. Uh, next. Soldier Boy does uh, Rolling Loud. Nobody cares. Like, seriously, like, the crowd was dead. It was just like, what? Pooh Shiesty ordered to uh, pay victims in the crime. There was a guy that was shot in the crime where he uh, let a gun go in the club. Well, he's ordered to pay a hundred something thousand dollars. For that guy's injuries. Let's see. $156,000 in restitution. It's part of a sentence. Sentenced to 63 months in prison last April after pleading guilty to one count of possession of a firearm. That's many, many years. Three years. Uh, four. Damn, he's not going to be home for a while. I thought it was just three years. Mm -mm -mm. Then we got Kodak Black. Somebody threw water at Yak. Kodak Black went, got his belt after a fan threw water on him. And T.I. says he sent nobody to jail. He never cooperated. This is on Drink Champs. In that he, uh, you can't tell anybody. Nobody in jail could say, oh, T.I. sent me here. It's not about that. You indirectly sent people to jail. You did those snitch commercials, encouraging people to snitch. It was a way out. It was a way to embarrass you and let you out. That's all. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one.